I think that um, what I really value and um, respect you for also is how you have lived your personal and professional life without um, feeling like you've had to compromise. And I think that the more clear you are with the people around you, as far as clarity, conversation, setting expectations, that um, there's a confidence there. You know what you bring to the table, but you don't have to um, sacrifice one or the other. Would you say that's right. true? Yes, I really do believe that. I think you can have it all, but maybe not in the way we see it face value. So it's that license for creativity in your career that really makes the difference. But unless we're personally empowered to be more creative, we feel stuck mm -hmm. so often. We, this person I was talking to today on the phone in a coaching kind of conversation, she was saying, goodness, I've been here 21 years. I've done the work. I've sacrificed my life. I mean, she's a high achiever. She's had great success, mm -hmm. but it's just not working for her for a lot of reasons, including personal reasons any longer. And she had come to this point of great discouragement. But after we talked, she said, this is like a breath of fresh air because I'm realizing there are other possibilities. We've got to talk more about this. That's what purpose will do in your hand, in your mind, in your heart. You have clarity. You kind of know the non-negotiables, but you can get really creative. It's helped me even as a leader. I was leading a board of directors at one point, a number of years ago, very high power board. And I was even, I was one of the younger uh, chairmen of the board, presidents of the board at that point, felt a little intimidated by some very seasoned uh, professionals in the community that were on this board. But I ran them through a half day, or I guess it was a full day experience of just talking about why we're here, doing some, some relatability tools, really getting to the heart of each individual and why they're serving on this board. Well, honestly, Jessica, my having that content from them that I pulled out of each of those individuals gave us one of the best years of attendance that we had ever had for our board. The reason is mm -hmm. that I kept, as the chairman, I was able to keep reminding them, here's what you said, why you're here. Not because we just all believe in the organization. Of course, we're here for that reason. We wouldn't be serving if we didn't believe. But what's in it for me? I worked for years, 10 years of my career. I was in a role where I depended a lot on volunteers. I didn't have a big workforce, but I had a lot of volunteers. Well, working with volunteers is a very different model because they're not getting paid, but they, they very much need to feel engaged and committed to the cause. Mm -hmm. And the best way to pay them, if you will, when they're a volunteer is to give them personal satisfaction and payback. Well, you can't give them that if you don't know why they're here at a deeply personal level. And so what we did with the board is what I've done with volunteers over the years is find out what's in their heart and connect it to the objectives that they're serving. And when there's a connection there, boy, motivation and enthusiasm is really high because now people are coming to the board meetings, not just for what they're going to give, but they know that they're gonna get something out of it. And isn't that why we all do what we do? If I'm a steward of my life, there has to be a return on investment. And mm -hmm. I just think as leaders, we can help people find that.